to my theory. My game theory. Yeah, and also for the people who already pulled for Sino, example. So when Sino reruns and a character that works well with Sino comes out. So it will make the fans of the character, except for Sino, want to pull for constellations. Yay! And then the weapon. They, the, they don't have the weapon yet. But that's just my theory, my game theory. Uh, sorry to hear you ran out of Primo Gems. Me, uh, well, I forgot about the live stream, so I missed out. Oh, sorry to hear. Uh, well, you can wait for the room. Let's end this now. Or if you, if you can finish the only game that you play, you can have like two accounts and you have the other account. No, just wait for you, you know. Well, you still have time. Oh, you can still keep cool. Anyway, when you get the character, you want to be able to go there, but you use their music, right? Oh, you can wait for the rerun, and then also save up for... Oh, you can go there. There's still a chance, so you know, just like me, uh, like my account. Uh, like me, uh, uh, yeah, on this account, so I have a child here. Where is he? So I pulled for him. I keep, I kept, when he first came out, I kept pulling for him. And then I won the 50-50 on the last three days of the banner. Last three days. So we still have eight days to keep farming and pulling. So yeah, just keep just keep pulling, and who knows, you might get the character last minute. But if not, tough luck. So it's what it is. Gotcha game. FOMO. Are you new to? Are you new to Genshin? Me, I'm, I only have a lot of primos because I have three accounts. So that's the problem. Uh, that's how they get the pressure. How this how Voyagers gets to pressure the newer players by the FOMO. But that's just my theory again, my game theory.